Hi friends, um, Yari here with Third Eye Yari with another video and today we're going to do something very different. I've been called really strongly to do, um, I love, I love reading and I know um, YouTube is full of um, tarot readers doing a lot of readings but um, I've been very, very pulled and, and called to, to do this so um, we're going to use this uh, Radiant Wise Tarot and we're going to use some Beyond the Moria and Starseed Oracle and the new um, Keeper for those messages. So let's start with these two, the Starseed Oracle. so you can see the cards better. I'm sorry. Okay. And you let me know if it's if it's really a big difference to use the back of the camera because it's really hard to do it like that. Um, but if it's that much better, the, the quality of the video, I'll continue to do it. It's just kind of hard um, to do it like that. But will survive okay so the first star seed here lost lands soul memories and gifts you've done this before we saw this car a couple days ago and we got we backed it up with the atlantis because that's the lost land. So we're going to back it up with Beyond the Moria, which is also a lost land, right? Which is definitely also a lost land. And let me know if you know you're a star seed. I am. And I come from Lemuria, that's why I have that deck. Or one of my lifetimes was in Lemuria. Um, because we definitely have many, many lifetimes. And a lot of those have been here on Earth, like right now. But at least one of them was in the morning yeah, for me. So let me know if you know that or if you, ha if you have any questions. If you would like a video talking about that, I would love to do that. So let me know. So much stuff in my head that I would love to share if anybody is interested. All right, so... This card is our ancient future. That is so interesting. One card talking about the past, the other one talking about the future. And this is card number 39. This one doesn't have numbers, 39. And three is about community. And nine is about com uh, completions. Um, which is a 12, which one is new beginnings, two is, um, partnership with another, and then three again is community. So we have a double three in community, um. So that is the stronger part of the numerology of this card. Our ancient future, that's like um, both things at the same time, right? Because ancient is from the past and future. All right. So that is interesting. 
um i'm gonna put this one over here and i'm gonna move this one up so we have because the spread for the love reading is um bigger than what i usually do okay so we're gonna do on the left divine feminine on the right divine masculine and on the center we're gonna do the energy of both right the first row is gonna be the recent past the middle row is gonna be the present and the last row is going to be the energies what what is gonna be a possibility of what's gonna happen in this relationship okay and this can certainly i'm gonna put it back because i haven't even started asking any questions or anything um this definitely can be about ourselves because we we all have both energies um but if you have somebody in mind if you have um, if you're on a twin twin flame uh, journey or you have um, you know somebody that you are interested in it that can definitely be it and masculine and feminine are just energies they do not mean gender okay they're not gender specific you can be a female with very strong masculine energy um, the feminine energy is more the nurture the intuitive and the masculine is more the action oriented the go-getter the decision maker okay so left feminine right masculine center um the energy of the relationship okay so let's put the past the recent past this is not 30 years ago this is like recent recent past feminine Ooh. masculine the present feminine energy and there's that card that jumped out again and the masculine feminine energies for both and masculine this is really interesting because this is this is how the feminine um it's it's feeling in the recent past justice it's a major arcana so it's a big deal and the justice card is about balance it's about wanting to settle wanting to Settle in terms of uh, settling into, uh, a, you know, a, 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 what am I trying to say? Uh, it's not settling for whatever. It's just um, being in a in a good place without having to, you know, move, having to change things. You know, you want to be balanced. So justice is about balance. It's also about um, thinking. It's also about communication. So that's the recent past for the feminine. Now, there's some kind of toxicity in this relationship in the recent past. But this is very interesting because the masculine is ready to give a new beginning to this relationship. He's offering this coin, which is money, which is um, earthy things, you know, material things, is a house, is, uh, you know, maybe a job. So he wants that stability. That's the word that I was looking for, stability. Um to that to his feminine and I'm gonna call them he or she just because it's easier um, 
and look at all that he wants to offer. Look how pretty all those flowers uh, and that greenery that he wants to offer. So he really wants a stable relationship. And although he understands that there's some toxicity in this relationship, that's what he wants to do. He wants to offer that stability that the feminine is looking for. So you're both in the same level. You're both, you know, in the same wavelength. The, he wants to offer you what you want. So King of Wands, um, you know, she wants to move forward. She wants to move this relationship forward. She wants to, um, she wants to change. She wants to, um, have all that passion and, and all that love. She wants, she wants to move it forward. She wants that relationship to move, but the masculine is feeling some, um, conflicts. He's definitely feeling some conflicts in this relationship. He is also feeling very passionate about the feminine, but he's feeling the conflict. And what is, what is the, the energy for this relationship right now? They're feeling stuck. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling trapped. It's almost like they're not seeing something that is out there. They're not seeing that they don't necessarily have to be stuck. Um, they can move this relationship forward, but there's something about the masculine that is making him feel in conflict, in state, unstable, um, and with difficulty to change. Change is difficult. Change is good, but it's difficult. So what does the feminine want for this relationship moving forward? She wants everything. She wants everything. She wants it all. She wants the stability of the coins. She wants the love. She wants the passion. She wants the communication. She wants it all. She wants, she knows this relationship is it. She knows that and she wants to move forward and she wants everything it has to give and she's willing to give it. She's definitely willing to give everything, but she's expecting everything too. So she doesn't want any drama. She doesn't want any, anything. She wants the truth. She wants the love. She wants the passion. She wants, you know, she wants to laugh. She wants to, she wants a true love, stable relationship, which is what she's been saying all along. So the masculine is not there yet. He's not there yet. He's getting there. He's getting balanced. He's definitely working on it. He's getting balanced, but he's asking for patience. He's asking for patience from the divine feminine because he's getting there. He has half his foot in, in the water, which is the love, the relationship, the emotion, and half the foot in, in, in on the earth, which is good because it's, um, it's being grounded. So he's balancing himself. He's balancing. He's seeing the light. The, the sun is right behind him. He sees the light. He feels it. The, you know, this, this is divine intervention. That's Archangel Michael right there. So he is feeling it. He is working on it. He is balancing it. He's just telling her, just give me a minute. I'm not quite there yet. She's there. He's not there. But he's getting there. But you know what? I think uh, this relationship is going to flourish and it's going to be good because it's going to have tons and tons and tons of love. 
I think that balance that the masculine is looking for, I think he's going to get it. Because we talked about the toxicity in, in the beginning, and we talked about how conflicted he is, but he's working on it. He is just as interested in this relationship as the feminine is. He just needs some time. But I think the outcome of this relationship is going to be positive because there's going to be a lot of love. So I'm going to give you both guidance, okay? I'm going to give the masculine a guidance, a final final guidance card, and a, the feminine also a guidance card. What's the best thing for the feminine to do to move this relationship forward? What is the... I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to grab... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one for those messages. See what happens. Because this has actual written messages. So what's going to be the... The message, the advice for the feminine... What's the advice for the feminine? False person. So don't, don't t take off the, the mask. Don't be false. Be true to what you feel. Be true to what you think. Be true to what you want. You know what you want. You're very clear. You want it all. You want the passion, you want the relationship, you want the stability, you want the communication. Tell them. Take off the mask. Don't be false. Don't tell him what he wants to hear. Tell him your truth. Do you want the world? You want everything? You need to be true about it. You need to be true because he's right there with you. He's getting balanced. He's right there with you. So what's a message for the masculine? Great fortune. Great fortune. And this is very interesting. This is card number eight. This is card number 26. The two is a relationship. The six is love. And together is eight. Just like this. So, you, you know, the masculine and the feminine are on the same page. You cannot make that up. So, you're, you're walking the right path. You're going to get what you want. You are going to get what you want in this relationship. It's going to be beautiful. Just give it time and be truthful. Be truthful about your truth. Take off the mask and you're going to get there. Masculine, you're going to get there. Be patient. Things are going to work out beautifully. Oh, I love that. Okay. Just because we always do. Let's get some letters and some charms. This is just a few. I'll get some more. We have um, an L. We have a D. We have an H. And I see something that I haven't seen in a minute. We have the Z again. There it is. E. That's just five. That's too little. Okay. F. M. X. O. B. You. So we have L D H Z E F M X O B U. All right, so we're going to 
take this journey together. We're definitely going to take this journey together. And this journey, you know, I don't know if you're looking at it. <laughs> We're going to take this journey together. And this journey is going to be full of love. Full of love. And we saw it here. Full of love. There's more confirmation of the love with a starfish. And the star in the tarot is wish fulfillment. So there you go. Another message. And we're going to take this journey with, 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 with wisdom and some magic. Can you see that? It's hard for me to see. Wisdom and magic. Beautiful. Okay, I love that. I really liked it. You let me know if you like it, if it resonates, and if you want more of this kind of readings. Um, I know there's a lot out there of those, but this is really nice. I really liked it. It was so clear. It was like so clear. So let me know. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Help me grow. And I really, really, really appreciate your comments and your likes and that you decide to spend time with me. It's incredibly rewarding for me. And I totally appreciate it. Okay. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.